Let's look at storefront. These glazing systems are installed within the structure of the building and in low-rise building. They are used to span between the floor slabs. Typically, storefronts are limited to use on buildings up to four stories. The design loads increase the higher you get. As you can see from a typical storefront cross-section, these are not massive systems, usually with a two-inch sight line and four and a half inch frame depth. They have relatively short vertical and horizontal spans due to the dead load and wind load constraints of their framing system. Water is managed by channeling it from the horizontal into the vertical and down to the subsill flashing where it weeps out. The height of the upturned leg of the subsill flashing dictates the water performance of the system. Storefront systems are secured into the rough opening via fasteners that run through the glazing pockets of the frame into the surrounding condition. They need to have sufficient structure around the perimeter of the frames to which they can be shimmed and secured. Storefronts are intended for single span applications only as they do not have the accessories required for twin spans. The size of glass and spacing of verticals are also limited by the structural requirements. The most common construction method is screw splice. In some cases, shear block can be used, which requires higher labor to assemble, or stick fabrication if there are long uninterrupted openings. They can be assembled in the field. However, we are seeing increasing use of pre-glazed storefronts in the factory to minimize field labor to install these products.